Hello everyone. Welcome to Gautam Digital Learning. My name is Musab Sayyid and I'm a corporate trainer having 13 plus years of experience. And here we are again with a new topic today in Linux, how to manage users and groups. First, we are going to discuss about users and then we'll talk about group in the later part of this video. So let's start the session. So in this webinar, we are going to start working with a user. Basically, what exactly is a user? See, user is an agent through which you can enter into your operating system. Whenever you take any operating system, if you try to log in into it, it asks you the credentials of users and password. So for security reason, every employee working in the organization will be given one username and a password using which they can log in into the system. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to work with that. Now, a user information is stored in a file called etc password. Now, password is only the name of the file. Actually, there is no real password stored inside it. What it has is a simple user information. Let me show you by logging into our Linux machine which we installed in the previous video. So here if you wanted to see how many users you have in the system you can visit to a file etc password. Now this etc password contains the list of users that you are having in the system. Like here you see the information about root user. First field contain the name of the user. Second field is the link to shadow file where actually your encrypted password is stored. First zero is user ID. Second zero is group ID. Then there is some information. We call it as comment. Maybe you have a user who happens to be the manager. So you wanted to say he is a user but at the same time, he is a manager. So you can describe about that. Then we have the home directory of a user followed by the shell what they use. If you want to see the recently added user, then you can go to the bottom of the file by typing tail etc password. This will take you towards the end of the file and you see the last added user is my name. Musab user. Now same like that a user's password is stored in a file etc shadow in encrypted format. So your password is there but it is encrypted. So you see the password but you cannot understand the password because it is protected with password and encryption. You cannot even understand what it is. For example, we have given a password to Musab user. Now, if I take you to shadow file like tail etc shadow. Now, you see the password starts from here with this dollar till the last line. Can you understand what exactly the password by seeing that encrypted letters? Absolutely not. You may not be able to understand the real password because it is protected by encryption. And breaking that encryption is not an easy task and not a child's play that anybody can do that. So it's protected highly with encryption. Now, let us say we also want to add a user, how we are going to do that. Before that, let's understand different types of users in Linux. One is super user, the most powerful user, that is root. And the IDs reserved for root is zero for user ID and zero for group ID. No other user in the system can take that ID. It is reserved only and only for root. The home directory for root is slash root and the shell what people uses to communicate with kernel root users uh, bash shell. Bash is one of the most advanced and most prominent shell that is available in Linux. Next level of users are system users. See system users are someone who are only associated to system. Basically there are applications and application requires some users. 
So these are totally meant for system. You cannot use it for normal login purpose and all. The IDs reserved for them is 1 to 999. Group IDs also 1 to 999. Now every system user has a different home directory. They wouldn't share it with others. Each home directory will be different. But observe here the shell what these users will be using is sbin no login. sbin no login is a kind of shell that prevents user login. You will not be allowed to login with their account. Then finally we have a normal user which is an ordinary set of user. Your name, my name etc. The IDs reserved for them is 1000 to 60,000. Group ID 1000 to 60,000 and the home directory is slash home username. Suppose you have a user called Musa. So home directory will be slash home Musa. If you have a user called Gautam, the home directory will be slash home Gautam. And the shell that is reserved or used for normal user is again bash shell. Let us see how we can create user, modify user and delete user. For example, I wanted to add a new user here with the name called Ravi. So the command is user add and the username that is Ravi. So you see user is added. How do I know you can run id and the command? This will tell you the user is created or not. Now if you go and check in etc password the user Ravi is created with id's home directory shell everything given but this user does not have the password yet. Go to etc shadow and here you see Ravi user exists but there is no password. See in server administration a user cannot be without a password. If you want a user login to be available then that user must have a password. So there cannot be a user with no password. Suppose I would like to assign password to this user. To assign password to any user we go with the command pass wd followed by the username called Ravi. Now you give any password. See for security reason when I type the characters here it won't display the character so that people behind you or beside you cannot even see how many characters I have typed. Enter. Retype the same password and now you go back and check in etc shadow you will find that Ravi's password has been successfully added. So this is the way you can create a user and you can give a password. Log in to that user by taking a duplicate session and give the password. You see over here that the password is working and I'm able to log in as Ravi. Now assume you wanted to change the ID of the user. For example, sometimes it happens that I don't like the ID or maybe I wanted to add comment. I want to make changes in the user. So you can use certain options hyphen u to change user id, capital G to change group ids. We'll talk about groups later in the next video. So as of now I'm skipping the group part. D to change home directory, C to change comment and S to change shell. Let's try changing user id. I don't like the user id 1001. Maybe I want to make the id as 1050. So I'll say user mod. User add for adding the user. User mod for modifying the user. I'll say user mod change the user id to 1050 for Ravi. Now you go back to etc password and check that Ravi's user id has been successfully changed. Same way maybe you want to add a comment that Ravi is a manager. So you can say user mod hyphen c add comment or change comment to something called manager. Who is manager? Ravi. Go back and check it out. A comment has been added as Ravi manager. So this is the way you can create a user and you can modify the user. Finally, if you want to get rid of this user, you don't want the user to be there. So you can say user del. See with user del, 
I recommend using hyphen R. This not only removes the user, but it removes the home directory and the mailbox. Sometimes when you delete a user, the home directory, the mailbox will not get deleted. So in that case, when you delete the user, their belonging stays back. It's like the guest came into the room, they stayed, they left the hotel, but they left the belongings there only. So in that case, it will not be a great idea. So I want to delete the user with all its attribute. So I'll say user del hyphen r. Remove the user with all its attribute. Which user? The Ravi user. Now you check id Ravi and see the user is not there. So this is all about the user administration part in Linux where we've learned how to check the users, how to check the passwords, how to create a user, how to modify the user and finally how to delete them all. Thank you very much guys for visiting us and watching this video. Do come back for next session in which we are going to talk about group administration. Have a nice day.